you're now live. Hey everybody, I'm here, Christian at Aggressive Marketing Solutions. I'm here with my good buddy Wes. We're gonna interview him today live. Um, this is just a live, non-edited cut version, and then we're gonna have a nice final cut that he'll redistribute to all of his networks, all right? So we're gonna get started right here. I'm gonna flip the camera. There is handsome Wes, there he What's is. What's up? <laughs> Sweet. So let's talk, let's talk a little bit about who you are. Um, how did you get started in sales? Where were you before? Um, the whole journey. The whole thing. Uh, so I grew up on Ontario, Oregon. Well, I, actually, we'll have to go back a little bit more. I was born in California. So uh, we were born in, I was born in Salinas. My grandparents owned a hardware store down in Soledad. Um, so that's kind of where my parents worked. They, uh, or well, my dad worked there. My mom raised three boys, which was tough. You know, we were three big boys. So um, she did that. When we were about, when I was 10, my brother was, my older brother was 12, they decided that we needed to move somewhere to uh, um, get out of California to a place where they could afford to actually take us to school and we would be not have to worry about, you know, high crime rate, things like that. And they couldn't afford to send us to private school. So my uncle had moved to Ontario, we jumped in a car and checked it out and we ended up in Ontario, Oregon. Not in Ontario, out in the country, about seven miles outside of, of town. It was awesome. I mean, I I used to complain all the time to my parents about living way outside of the country, out in the country, not being in town to be able to do all the things I like. Because my older brothers and my dad like to hunt and fish, and I like to uh, play sports. So they did too, but it was more for me. It was more about sports for me. So can't really do that out in the middle of nowhere. My dad did put in a basketball hoop for us so we could shoot baskets out there, and we had plenty of room to throw baseballs and things like that. But you know, getting around people. So anyway, I did that. Um, I went to high school in Ontario. I played football, baseball, basketball. Um, I was pretty good at football. I got a scholarship to Southern Oregon University. And then um, the, my summer, the summer that I graduated high school, I thought, you know, before I go to uh, college to go play football, I'm gonna go down and hang out with, in California with my grandmother. And um, while I was down there, my grandma said, hey, you need to go to church with me if you're gonna stay with me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I didn't really want to do that and but it was my grandma and who tells her grandma no and to be the best thing that ever happened to me because the first day in church I was with my cousin who was my best friend or well, my favorite cousin I don't know if I he was we're pretty good friends um, and he was dating this girl and uh, it was my wife's not my wife yet best friend so um, I hung out with my cousin his girlfriend my soon-to-be wife and her brother, and, and we just kind of hung out all summer, not making anything of it. And then uh, I met my, I, you know, I finally made my move <laughs> and said, hey, should we try to make this work? And at that point, I think the decision was already made that I wasn't gonna go play football. I was kind of over it. And uh, so I drove up right after this conversation I had with her and we were gonna make a long distance relationship work. I was gonna play football at Southern Oregon and, uh, and uh, I registered for my classes. My parents met me in Ashland, which was you know, probably about eight hours away from where I was and also eight hours away from Ontario. And uh, I was like, on my way home, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. So I got home and I told my parents and I got in a fight with them because they wanted me to go do it. And I was like, no, I'm not doing it. Jumped in my truck and headed back to California. <laughs> so about uh, six months later, I decided, well, I probably ought to go to college. I, I had got that figured out. This relationship with my, my soon-to-be wife uh, turned into something really good. Um, and I knew I had to go to school, so I had, we, she helped me move to Europe, up to Moscow to go to University of Idaho. And I started out there um, part-time, but as we got there and I moved all my stuff into this apartment condo with my brother and his roommate, uh, we were getting ready to take my girlfriend back to the airport and we're sitting in the uh, in the Spokane airport waiting for her flight to get in and we're talking back and forth and we said this isn't gonna work so let's get married <laughs> six months later we're married and uh, that's lasted for 20 years so we're doing pretty good um, and I'm you know I love her she's the best thing that's ever happened to me but while we we're up there she's we said let's get married we got married that summer then she moved up 
And so we're both going to school there. I was working part-time that summer at Les Schwab, uh, just changing tires, part-time guys, kind of a grunt work kind of guy. Um, but in that company, they want you, if you're full-time, to know everything there is to run a company. And so it was probably one of the best things that ever happened to me. I worked for a lot of great people, um, and I did that for 10 years. Um, I learned a lot of stuff. It's kind of an abbreviated version about that, but I mean, it, it taught me a lot of stuff. And my parents instilled in me hard work, so everything I do is, is hard work. You know, I always bust my butt no matter what, um, and, and I love it. I mean, I, hard work always pays. So uh, I did that for uh, 10 years. I hurt my knee, and, and I thought, man, I got to do something different. I need to go back to college because that's what everyone's told. Let's go to college. You need to go to college. You need to go to college to make money and be successful, blah, blah, blah. And I knew before I was going to school to be an athletic trainer and a PE teacher because I wanted to coach and I wanted to be around athletics. And so I did that and I got my, I got my PE degree in four years and uh, got my first teaching job in Marsing. I taught middle school for two years and I got the head coaching baseball job the first year I was there. Never had any head coaching experience. I coached one year at Capitol High School. And uh, I thought I did a pretty good job with that program. Um, smaller school, smaller town, I'll always remember that. Uh, and then two years later, I always knew I wanted to teach high school. It wasn't, you know, middle school level. It just wasn't, they weren't the type of kids I wanted to be around. And I wanted to coach high school kids. And I felt like I had to be in the high school to help coach that. And so, uh, I did that. I transferred to Middleton High School. I got a job there. Not transferred, I applied for a job there. I got it and I wasn't teaching PE the first year. And I was teaching this senior project class, which I found a lot of worth in. I don't think that kids really understand how much worth they got out of that. And I think that they'll see that more and more as they get older because I see it. Um, and a lot of my views come from that and come from my experience, uh, which, you know, Kind of brings me to where I am now. I, I did get a PE job my second year there, but I there was no way. I, I was getting my master's degree the whole time I was teaching. So I got my master's degree and I looked at what I had and there was no way I was ever going to be able to pay for it. I mean, I, I want to take responsibility for what I did and I want to be able to pay for my student loans that I got and I couldn't do it and I couldn't survive and we were making ends meet. And It's a sad thing that Idaho doesn't put an emphasis on education like they should, but uh, it is what it is. So I, I took a leap into a full commission sales job, uh, selling blinds, and uh, and then I started doing this. I mean, this is it's it's a combination of things for me right now, and I and I think it's an awesome experience. So I'm kind of unlocked my mind. It's kind of interesting. So it's uh it's really fun. It's really exciting. What's going on? So what do you have to say about? Um, the difference between being an employee and going full commission sales. A lot of people talk about job security, you know, being an employee, you have job security, financial security. What do you have to say about jumping and taking this risk into sales? How do you feel about your security? So at first I was really a little bit shooken about it because I, it was a, here comes a income that I'm going to get every month, no matter what. And, uh, it became something where it was like, I'm responsible for my own income. And that's really what it boiled down to. I am responsible for making this income happen. And so the only way it's gonna happen is for me to bust my butt. And I get way more joy out of working for it than I do, than I did, you know, just working for the man. I mean, that's really what it was. I was there was nothing, nothing driving me to be better because you could only go so far in that job. I mean, you could get into administration, but it still doesn't pay as well. Um, and there's just more headache. It's not really worth it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, it, it is what you make. You work hard, you're going to get what you need. And if you don't, then you're not. And that's up to you. That's a choice you have to make. Mm -hmm. So then when you first started your sales job, what were some challenges that you ran into? Um, so when it first started, like in the summer, in June, I started. So as soon as school got out, I took, I don't even know if I took a week off. I think we had Friday off and then there was a holiday on Monday and then I started on Tuesday. And, um, you know, training was, it was like, hey, I'm gonna make this much money. But the nice thing was I was paid contract in the summer. That was just the way it was because when you're a teacher, you get paid for 12 months. Um, they just break it up over 12 months instead of over the nine that you're working. But I was able to be kind of comfortable at first and I was